Hi guys, Shanice here from Pink Sugar Shop, Pink Sugar School, and Party Mavens. Like and subscribe to see all of my videos. Let's get started. So I know what you're thinking. You're making a chip bag video? Yes. Originally, when I created the first tutorial for chip bags back in, oh, I think it was 2015, there was nothing about chip bags on the net. These little favors have taken off and they've become a part of who I am, actually. So I wanted to add a video on my YouTube showing how I assemble some of my treats and I'm going to start with the chip bags. If you're interested in trying these out with me, I've gone ahead and added these two files plus one more to my blog. So you can download them for free and follow along with this tutorial. Halloween's just a few days away and you still have time to craft something sweet for your little ones or trick or treaters that are coming by. So go ahead, download the files and meet me back here. So let's get started. Now that you have the first file downloaded and printed out, I'm gonna show you how I get started with my folds. I create two bins along the side flaps of the bags. I'm not folding, I'm just making a light crease on each side so I know where to add my adhesive. Next, I take my Scotch ATG gun and I go along the bottom edge and down the right side of my bag as well as the top portion. So you're only gonna need adhesive on the middle portion, not the whole strip across. So next, I'm gonna take my favorite chip of choice and I'm going to add it inside of my bag and gently pull one flap over and secure it tightly on the bottom. So I'm just gonna press it until I have it sealed. Both sides of the adhesive are meeting together and forming a tight seal. Next, I'm gonna center my bag, make sure my center line is right down the middle, and then I'm just gonna press that close along the back. So there we have it. We're almost done, you guys. All we have to do now is meet the top together in the middle, and this helps prevent um, creasing on the top and wrinkles along the top of your bag. Next, let's get rid of those white edges. The OCD in me does not allow me to leave the white edges on the bag, so I trim them off using a Fiskars paper trimmer. You can find all of these tools in my Amazon store. The link is just below. Let's get that last edge trimmed off and then our bag is complete. I try to fluff it out a little just to make it look realistic and not too flat. I don't like flat bags, but that's it. Oh, I almost forgot, we have to crimp the edges. Although I have a faux crimp on my bag design, I like to go ahead and crimp it just to give a realistic look. So I'm gonna add the bottom of my bag to my crimper, make sure it comes through the back. And then I'm just gonna squeeze and twist. And that'll give it a nice finished look. I'm gonna do the same with the top of my bag. And there we have it. Look at those finished edges. And that's it. That's pretty much all I do to create my chip bags. I'm gonna show you another technique, leaving the top open so you can add treats in later. Now all of these files that I've added to my blog, I've left the back flap blank so you can go ahead and have your kids write little fun notes to their friends or their classmates or you can write something personalized for the kids in the neighborhood to hand these out during Halloween. I'm just going to add my son's name a little smiley face and we are ready to fold. So same technique here, I'm just gonna do a light crease along the flap lines, just so I know where my division is. I'm gonna add my adhesive. This time, I'm not gonna add any adhesive to the top. Instead, I'm going to use this double-sided tape with the backing on it. 
So I'm gonna measure it out kinda and then just tear and um, tape that right down to the top where we would have put adhesive. So now I'm gonna continue folding up my bag just as I did with the first zombie bag. So we're gonna seal the bottom first and then I'm gonna go up the middle and make sure that's secure. So now we have an open bag and we can start adding in our treats. This is good if you're going to send to customers, if you're gonna send to family members or friends and you want them to fill it later, this is how you would do it. You would just ship these out just like this and when they get it, they can start adding their treats in. So I'm just gonna add a few uh, pieces of candy. And now we're gonna close it up just like we did the first, except we're going to need to peel the backing off first. So this is what your customers would do or your friends or family who you sent your bags to. They would pull that strip and now they're ready to close. We're gonna fold it out on one end and press it out on the other end. And now we are all set. That's our second bag trim the edges now if you're sending these out and you like your edges trimmed I suggest that you trim it while it's still a flat as soon as you take it out the printer just trim off the top and the bottom edges so that your customer or your friends and family that gets your bags in the mail they won't have to go through that they'll already be trimmed and you can also go ahead and crimp them ahead of time as well once that's done and you've crimped up your bag, you're all set and ready to go. So remember, you guys, you can grab these two fowls plus one more. I have a jack-o'-lantern, um, which you saw in the beginning of the video, that you guys can download for free just in time for Halloween. So make sure you head over to my blog and grab these. Um, they're really fun and cute. Have your kids personalize or you personalize the back of them and get these out just in time for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned how to craft something sweet today. See you on the next one.